okay so now i'm back for a detailed tour on my uh cards okay so the reason why i have cards this many of them before it was because of my space i would kind of just store them and swap them out as i needed them and i got so used to that method that i want to continue doing it that way um besides uh bible journaling i also do other type of paper crafts and some sewing so i have them for different um different projects and i like that i can just pull these towards me and just work with whatever you know is there because i've you know set them up that way so i'm gonna start by saying that the big ones the black and the white the black one over there which you probably can't see it but the black one at the far end that one is from michael's and so is this white one here and it's their their bigger cards i forgot the name of it but it's their bigger card and then this one over here is also from michael's and it's the one that had the the little um uh like the trays or like the metal racks and I lost those during my move because I removed them because they kept getting stuck to where I had it. But um, yeah, I got the only one that's from Ikea is the black one. So the small black one, the one that's like this size. So I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna go through this one first. This one's my Bible journaling cart. And I'm gonna try to scoot it back so you can see. Let's see, I have my phone on the stand. So that's what it looks like so this is my favorite cart I do have a favorite so this is my favorite cart and um, hopefully this is um, some good uh, organizing tips if you're also into Bible journaling or any type of journaling um, so let me just give you an overall view look at everything you can fit in these okay so over here I have all of my uh, journals and these are, most of them are the Carpe Diem um, journals. Now, uh, I have not been able to work on the system that I had for them, like I said, you know, on the, my previous video. Um, a lot of it had to do with the space that I was in. Um, not that I didn't appreciate my space. I love that I was still able to be around everyone while I'm doing my Bible journaling, but some of these that that I put together required a lot of like just concentration and I didn't have that. Let me start by saying this black one here is my Bible journal. I mean, not my Bible, I'm sorry. My journal for notes. So I wanted to do this for my anything that I work on that that um you know, involves like a study. This is what I wanted it for. And I started working on it for the um, study Bible books, the black and white ones, I think they're called the Bible study. Um, yeah, so I that was what I wanted to do with these. And so I set them up like that. And I believe my, yeah, my notes are right here. So, you know, the, the study thing starts with, um, Genesis and that's all I was able to do. I started this Literally like the first week of quarantine and because There was so much that I wanted to do because like now I had like I guess the excuse or time Whatever to like sit there and do it. I didn't know where to begin So this is something that I of course want to get into I decorated it so nicely um, I got the images from Etsy and Look at how pretty these are. I was hoping that this would be like a, a not a monthly thing, but a um, seasonal. So that's why I did, I think, four um, covers. So this is my favorite one. This was supposed to be like my fall and winter one. So yeah, and then um, what I did was I got dotted paper. Um, I got it as a PDF and printed it on the A5 paper that I got from Amazon. And then this is from Carpe Diem. And then these uh, sticky pads, this is actually see-through. 
so I got it like this because um, when I use my study Bible I try not to write on it because I just wanted to stay that way um, I can write and highlight on all my other Bibles but that one I want to keep it clean so I got these so I could still read under the text and then I just got this one because I felt like it went with the theme and then my pen is from Target so so yeah so this is what I intended this one to be for and I'm glad that I'm taking the time to like do this tour because now I'd be able to go through them and see what I have and then in here I have these um stencils too that I wanted to use with this and then this one over here I wanted to use this one which I have I am using it for this um this is my like if at church we're gonna do any type of in-depth study of um, any book of the Bible, I wanna make sure that I have that here. So we actually had done, in May, we had done, um, we had done a Proverbs study. So I printed all these out from Reset Girl. I love her stuff when it comes to this you know because I, I just i mean it's just so pretty and so this is what i did i did my tab here i just got just regular brown you know cardstock and then i just put right here proverbs and like i did i was so proud of myself that i actually kept up with the the, the challenge i guess and did a chapter every single day so i did it all the way to the last one which is the 30 the 31st chapter so and then these the proverbs uh sheet i made these myself with um with my photoshop uh skills <laughs> i made them myself and um i mean i was very proud of myself i never did anything like this and um if you guys want the pdf i can send that and then so this is how i ended it and I haven't done any more, but I have the extra sheets here if I wanna do a, you know, another study with my church. I got these planners when um, Carpe Diem had their um, sale. I think it was like a thing that happened around springtime. And then this one, this one is um, the Marigold um, one. This one was probably one that I was hoping to find because they didn't have it on their site. So I think I got this from either scrapbook.com or yeah, I think it is from scrapbook.com that I got this one. So this is my prayer binder. So because this is pretty personal, I don't think I'm gonna show all of the pages only because I wanna keep that private. I can show the ones of me because um, I really think it's important that we pray for ourselves, you know, and sometimes it feels like it's a selfish thing to do because we think, okay, we need to pray for others. And yes, we do. I think, you know, we do. But a lot of stuff starts with us. If we want to see change, if we want to see, um, you know god move in different ways we have to pray for us to be the vessel that he's gonna use so um that's something that i recently started to do because a lot of the times i would just pray for my husband my kids my family um you know friends and i thought it would be awkward <laughs> to constantly pray for myself but i've i've noticed that it's important for us to pray for ourselves i think um like I said, yeah, I mean, a lot of change starts with us. So on my 33rd birthday, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a prayer for myself. And then when I started my intern program at church, I also prayed for that. Um, so I am I am gonna show just a few sheets. I don't wanna show everything. Like, you know, this is one I dedicated for my mom and I dedicated another one for her, you know, for my dad. And these are friends over here, um, you know, ministry from church. Mostly all my supplies that I'm using are from the Reset Girl. And um, so then, you know, this is, you know, for church. Uh, when we reopened, you know, our online 
ministry. There's just so much, you know. And this one I tend to keep a little private. I This isn't something that you'd find that I've posted pictures on my Instagram. If anything, just this one when it was my birthday. But the other ones I keep to myself. And um, I tuck in here all my sticker sheets. My, um, my Reset Girl sticker sheets, I size them so they're this size and I can use two sheets in one. And then I run them through my Cricut. So. I love how colorful it is. Um, I'm so excited to get back into my planner. I mean, my uh, prayer binder because like I said, I haven't done any of this because I didn't really have like the privacy to do this. Not that that's an excuse, you know, not that you don't, you can't do any of this stuff in public around your family. I just, you know, I like to just focus when I do stuff like that so now the smaller ones over here this one is from crepe paper and I got this one Tuesday morning a couple years back and this is my um, these are my sorry my mind went blank right now but my illustrated faith devotionals and so I have them based on like the one that I'm currently working on so I have two other ones that I haven't put in here yet because I haven't even had the time to work on those either. But I have Big Story as my first one and then Arise from where I stand. And my very first one that I purchased from them, which was last year, was this one, the um, Passport. So I keep those in here. I have a couple more over here that I haven't even opened yet. Uh, but yeah, hopefully soon. I get to do all that so they fit perfectly here I probably could still fit a couple more depending if I fill them with stuff all right and now this one here is my printable ones so I got this one that this one actually goes into the crepe paper one but I put it in here so I can leave that one blank for the other devotionals so this one just has all of my printed ones. So let's see, I think I started with this one. And yeah, so I have all of these here. And I do all of my printed ones in here. So I just print them and stick them in here. Or even just the embellishments. Yeah, so. Oops. so yeah that's what I use this one here for and then I have this one here in the back that's a little bigger that I haven't used yet but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get to that soon since the other one's running out and then this one here is my sermon notes um, yeah, these are my sermon notes. So this one is also from the um, paper crate, crate paper. I don't know, did I say it right? Um, and so this one has my sermon notes. And this is when we were doing them online because we didn't have our, our sheets that they, you know, give us when church starts. So I would just take my notes as it goes, but we knew what the title was gonna be. So the night before, what I would do was, um, actually, where would be a better example? Like right here. So I would write the title and I would know that, okay, we're gonna work on that. Or I would do the stamp. This one's from Illustrative Faith. So I would do the Sundays and sermon topic and just kind of prep my pages and you know even do stamps you know and then these I've had for years so I just stuff them in here and again I have more of those clear these clear um, post-its are from office max I believe or office depot I think it's the same thing and so I still have these back here and then this one I don't think I've used this one yet but I have it there just in case anything comes up 
yeah I haven't used this one yet so I just have it with me just in case I think of something that I need to separate from all of these I have this here and then my personal sized one got a little bit of a dent but this one I'm using just for like small inspiration so I have mostly my Amy J Delightful that's another printable that I I love to work with um, I have these little journaling cards and then I have um, just like these little embellishments just every now and then I get the inspiration to just want to do something and I'm like well I don't have room in my journaling Bible um, but I just use this just have like a small little thought of it and I was about to start working on one here and I have no idea why I didn't do it but yeah so that's what this is for and then okay so so that's where all of that's what I use this top whole area here for as you can see a lot was able to fit there and then on this little corner over here I have my um, Bibles from Illustrated, no, sorry, from Faith Heirlooms. Um, so this is the compact Bible, and then this is the, um, wait, I probably have them wrong. I know this is the compact, and I think this is the micro compact or mini. <laughs> so these are the two that I have. Um, I've. I've added this one in here. I'm just gonna do journaling cards and add them in here. And then this one, I plan on doing, um, which I have an example here, of these large tags. That's what I wanna do for this one. So this one's from Amy J. Delightful. And then these are from Faith Heirlooms. I will link their uh, shop below and I do have a discount code with them and it works for the Bibles and um, printables okay so now right here this container that I got from Daiso it holds all of my stamps so let me see hopefully I have a good yeah so this holds all of my stamps um, I don't really use the like wooden block ones anymore I just kind of stick to these and um so yeah so i have some that i haven't even used yet because i don't know why i buy stamps honestly i i love to see like i don't know it's weird i don't know why i buy stamps because i don't use them often i don't know if why but what i recently did now is i put them here before i used to have them in a clear box under the card so I'm hoping now that they're out in display, I will start to use them because I have quite a few and I need to start using them. So I have these here from um, Jelly Bean Soup and I got these from Peachy Cheap. Um, that one fell because when my package came, I think I cut too deep that I ripped the thing in the bottom. But so that's that. I have also this Mary Poppins one that I have used. I really like that one a lot um these are from hobby lobby and they have a few like bible verses and quotes this is my sewing one i got this one for the um big story devotional and either way i like how they look and then these are the half faith from echo park um these are um from illustrated faith and i got these from tuesday morning And this is from the Passport Part 1. And then these are also from Illustrated Faith. This one was from their From Where I Stand devotional. These 70s looking ones are from My Mind's Eye. And it's the, hopefully you can see it, it's the one of a kind. These are from Illustrated Faith as well, and this one was from Top Knots. And these I got, I think I got these from Hobby Lobby, and they're the Simplicity Sewing Ladies. 
These are my favorite ABC stamps, alpha stamps from Illustrated Faith. I love those. They're like that 70s font. And these are from Michaels. They're like that typewriting, typewriter font. These are also from Illustrated Faith Tuesday morning. These are from the devotional from Big Story. These are the alphas from Big Story. I haven't used these either because I haven't used that devotional yet, which I need to get to that ASAP. And then these are from AliExpress and their Christmas stamps. I haven't used these yet either. I just got them. And then all of my smaller stamps, I have them on this ring because these used to get lost too because I forget, you know. So I got this one from scrapbook.com. These are from Hobby Lobby. Get frame. These are also from scrapbook.com. I don't know why they feel thicker. Oh, okay. And these are Felicity Jane. Okay, so I have those hanging on a ring. That way I can just grab them all at once. And then more deeper in here, I have the, the stamping blocks. Way down here. So I have the stamping blocks. I have this cleaner. Put these back. I have this cleaner. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I most of the time spray it on a baby wipe and just clean with that. I mean, some stamp inks do stain, so I just kind of know that already. And now moving on to this part of the cart. So this holds all of my stickers. Now this isn't all the stickers that I have, but these are my most recent ones and my most I guess that I use the most um, so I, I keep them here and these little containers hold so much these are from Daiso so I highly recommend these because they hold a bunch of stickers so I'm not gonna go detailed because there's just so much of it so so these um, I got these from Tuesday morning and they're the little crosses from um, Illustrated Faith so I just have them all right here So I just have them on this ring. So I know that's a whole category of the cross stickers. Um, these I got from Walmart like a long time ago and I still go through it. And these are just um, some with a month. And these are little like note, note ones. And then these little words. Uh, there's so much in here, it's so cramped up. But I printed some of these myself, and then these I got from Tuesday morning, and this one I did myself too. And then my Word Fetty from Illustrated Faith. That one I've had forever, and somehow I still have words that I can use. I try to highlight thinking it would look cute, but uh, I didn't really like it but it's there. And then something's stuck down here. Okay, then I have my Magic Forest Heritage. This one from Paper Studio that I don't know why I don't use. It's so pretty, but I'm gonna start using it. Then this one I got from Tuesday morning. Oh, I have these little magnetic. And then this one's from Michael's. It was on clearance. This one's also from Michael's from Happy Planner. This one's also from Michael's. Well, they're from Happy Planner. And then the Faith one from Happy Planner. Mm, this is a, an older one. These little alphas that I got from Target, I don't know if only my set doesn't work, but my letters are not cut right. So when I take them out, they always tear because they're not cut right. So I don't really use, I might 
pretty soon get rid of it from this pile because I'm not really using it often. Um, my Tim Holtz um, Small Talk. And let's try to bring this closer. And then these Alphas. And in here I also have these cute little mason jars that I got from the Dollar Tree. And let's see, twist these over here. Uh, these were for like my containers. I don't know, I, I guess I left it here so I don't lose it. This is from Illustrated Faith. Try to go as fast as I can because I don't want this to be a long video. Um, this one's from, is it Fresh Bouquet? Yeah, Fresh Bouquet. I haven't used any of these yet. And then this one from uh, Magic Forest. And then these pink ones here are from Target. And then this one's from My Mind's Eye and it's the yay. It's like a birthday and celebrations. Um, this is probably just some older, older stickers that I've had. They have like Bible verses and quotes. This is another alpha. So now, anything back here now is just alphas. So just alphas, just nothing but alphas. These are the ones from Snow, Snowflake. And then, yeah, so there, these are just nothing but alphas, as you can see. Just alphas and alphas. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I can't really tell. But yeah, these are all just alphas back here. So yeah, this little container holds a lot and I still have room for more. I'm not gonna get more, but still have room for more. Um, then right here in the front, which I probably shouldn't keep these here anymore, but Right here in the front, I have my, um, uh, these, what are they called? I don't want to pull them out, but they're my Distress inks, and I have this lotion holding them together right now, because I lost, I used to have them on a rubber band, and after the move, I noticed that the cap was missing for this one, and it, so I probably dried out. So then I have my tab puncher here. I have my date stamps right here and my illustrated one. I have my little uh, Zyron sticker maker. Everything feels a little cramped here. So now that I have a desk, I might take one of these items out and just put it there because everything is just so cramped now and it wasn't like that before so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and then over here this okay so right here I have my latest devotional so these are big story right here and then um word nerd which I have not even opened up yet at all I was moving when I got it and I just stuck it in here so I don't lose a package so these all right here are all printed stickers. These are all stickers that um, that I print. So I'm gonna back up a little. Try not to make this video long, but I don't know if you're like me, but I like watching long videos. I don't know, sometimes as I'm crafting, I'm just watching um, videos, so. You can skip through this part if you'd like, but this is pretty cool to share, okay? So let me take the fattest one out of here. So, what I do, I bought these colorful, um, I bought these colorful uh, dividers from, I think I got them at the 99 cent store like once when they were doing a back to school and let me just adjust my camera so I can. So I got these from the 99 cent store and they were not a dollar because you know how they have some stuff that is a little more. I think they were like $3, but still a good price. And I have them categorized where I don't write it on here. 
but I kind of know what's what. Um, the pink one holds all of my um, Reset Girl and some Cali Bang since I bought them from her. So let's see. So yeah, look, I have so much that I have not even used yet, but you know, just so you can see, I have all of them in here. So I have them like where all the girls are in the front. Hopefully this doesn't fall, okay. Yeah, so I have them like this where all the girls are in the front. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is just gonna be a flip through video, so I'm just gonna do this. And then in the back, I have all of these. I mean, there's just so much that I have here ready to go. And I even have some that I probably have purchased but haven't even printed yet. So yeah, that's that's a whole nother thing right there. So yeah, so I have them like this and um, and then I just put one of these behind it like this and it just holds it together since some of them are um, scraps. So yeah, so now I'm gonna adjust my camera back to how it was so I can continue showing you what's in here. So yeah, so that one holds all of my Reset Girl Cali Bang and then these are all like my, um, these are all like my little grids from um, Illustrated Faith. I had it labeled as washi, but can you see? Yeah. So these are all just, you know, um, stuff that I can use to highlight or write. And all of them have, like I said, a little category. This one, this one here has my, um, what do I have in here? I think these are, these are some that I've, yeah, these are some that I've printed um with white paper not clear all the ones that i was showing you aren't clear but these are all with white paper and some of them are amy j delifo and then some of them are reset girl so these are all like they're white so i know that they're not going to be clear so that is pretty much it for the top part of this cart and we're barely 35, <laughs> we're already, I mean, already 35 minutes in and I only showed you the top. So hopefully you're still sticking around. If not, then I'm so sorry. I didn't know there was so much to share. So now I'm gonna show you the bottom part of the cart. So I'm gonna bring down my camera a little more. So the bottom is, I'm not gonna go through my journal journaling cards because I believe I, did I do a video? I know I meant to do a video of my journaling cards, I know I did, but all of my journaling cards are down here and um, just, I sat here one day and just started cutting a bunch of um, cards that I can use for journaling. So I have them on this little container and as you can see, I have them in different colors. I try to color coordinate them from these um, paper packs that I have from Michaels. And then back here are all the ones with um, designs on them. So yeah, you can see that. Like this one has little coffee beans. So there's floral stuff that I know I use the most. I just went and cut that. So it holds a lot of them. There's a lot of them in here. And back here, these are my prayer request cards from Ali Scraps. I love these. I think this is like my second time reprinting some of them, but I have them all here. Then I also have index cards back there. And then these are like the latest bows from um, these are the latest bows from 
uh, faith heirlooms well this one i made myself but it matches so i keep it here and then these are cards from them too and uh they're journaling size so i keep them there and then i think i've gone through these two um in my other video and then i keep these wipes so i can spray that cleaner for the stamps let me set that aside so i get some room here um this is one i i recently bought um, I thought that it would, I thought that you get this size already, I don't know. I like it though, but I was hoping for just a quick punch of this size because I was wanting to make like little banners, but um, it's still cute. Um, I'm still, you know, learning how to use it because sometimes I don't get my measurements right. So that just sits here. Um... Over here, on a ring, I have all of my enamel dots. So, here they all are. So I just keep them on a ring. Every time that Peachy Cheap puts them on sale, I go and grab them, because individually, I don't really like the price. But as a pack, I'll get them. So I have those there. Um, over here, I have all of my inks. So let me set this aside. This one I just purchased, but I have all the other ones that come in this set on these small ones. Um, this is the one I use for my date stamp and anything that I'm gonna color in, I use this one. Um, this one I rarely use, but it's here, so. Um, it's not what I expected it to look like, but it's still a very nice stamp. And then all the other ones, I have them here that are the same as this set. And I just wrote the name of the color so I know instead of having to dig through them. Like this one is um, Monarch um, Orange. So I just wrote it there and on both sides. And I just use clear sticker paper and just a little Sharpie to write that. So that's what I have this little tray for. This little tray is those trays that come with those clear containers from Michaels. And then um, I also have this ink over here too. And then in here, um, I like to put in here anything that I'm currently working on so I know that it, that involves any of these items here. So that's what's in the middle cart. I mean, yeah. So way down here, which can't see so I'm gonna bring my camera down here down here I just have um, all of my those little photo containers from Michaels I took them off from their original case and just put them down here and these are die cuts that I use the most of or I recently cut and I don't want to lose them so I leave them in here and um, they, they're more themes that go with my Bible journaling. So a lot of my Amy J. Delightful, um, the Beloved Society girls. What is this one? So this is a Mary Poppins one that I pulled out because it has a lot of like those blue floral. Some of these are printable that I cut myself and some of them are, um, they were purchased that way and I just put them in here. And then all of my Bible tabs, I have them in here. And then over here, I have, um, I think I did show these in the other video. Those were all of my, in here, were all of my um, journaling cards that I had from um, Reset Girl. And then over here are just, like these are some, um, like coffee embellishments that I made. So I just keep that here with me. And then, let's see, I'm gonna twist this. I have these bigger ones back here. And I was trying to put my devotionals in there, but that was before Illustrated Faith put them in the baggie. So now that they're in those bags, I just keep them in there now. And yeah, so that's this cart. Okay. So I already gave the tour of this cart. I think this is the one that was gonna take the longest. So the other ones shouldn't 
take that long to go through. And now this one, I would say is the newest one because before I used to have these items on a shelf and in drawers. So now that I got this cart back because I had lent it to my mom and just didn't fit now in her room. I'm gonna go through what's in here. So this is an easy one. These are all just my six by six, four by six, and eight by six um, paper pads. Um, I had to put them on a cart because these used to sit up on a shelf in my in my old crafting area and i'll be sitting making something and then i remember like oh yeah i have the paper for like a smaller print you know of that paper and then um they're kind of dusty because i left my carts in here when we were sanding the table and yeah so anyways so i would remember that i had the cart and then i would just be like oh i just probably use whatever's near me because I don't know so now that they're in this cart I want to make sure whenever I work on anything you know I bring this towards me too so I can know that I have more of a paper selection so if you want to know what paper I have um, this is my, my most recent one I have this Christmas one I mostly have them in the Christmas ones in the front Christmas more Christmas, Christmas, this one, one of a kind. I love this this one here. This one's from my mind's eye, the Gingham form. Uh, practically perfect Mary Poppins coffee. A Metropolitan girl, more Christmas. Christmas, 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 summer, polka dots, these like light colors, I don't know what it's called, this one, this one, I've had for a while actually, uh, this one, and then now the four by six farmhouse. This one right here. Paris. This is actually glitter, but I have a, like a wood one there. And this one, magic forest. Um, snowflake. Wait, that one's stuck. This is like one stuck in there. But yeah, it's Snowflake, uh, Magic Forest again. I have two, but I put the one I'm currently using in the front. So I know if I run out, I'll just get the other one. Um, this yay one, and then the one of a kind from my mind's eye. I don't know if I was able to. And then this one right here is just loose ones, but it's a card, but these are just loose ones. Okay. So that's it for the paper. And then this over here, these are um, uh, stickers that are not so much for Bible journaling. Um, so I just keep them here. So I have to twist my camera this way to show you. Okay, so yeah, this is like a, just like random basically. I started off with wanting to make this into my like doilies um, holder, but I didn't really have that many. I probably have like three or four colors to hold. So I noticed that every time I was buying these type of stickers that are kind of dimensional, I was just sticking them in here. So it kind of became a mix of the doilies and that. So I have like, you know, I was wanting to do a album for my son's freshman year, but we all know how 2020 school year was is so i'm still gonna make it but the mood is a little different now um and then i have these like ephemeras that i got also everything's kind of like stuck in here so i still have to go. i love these i got these from tim holtz but i just don't really know what to use them 
on. And then I got these ice cream coasters from Target, which I was hoping to do like an ice cream album with them. These cute little fall stickers. I got two. I think one of them I'm gonna add for my giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram. And then these little burlap bows, black. So yeah, it's just like random. Um, here are the doilies. More. Um, these are like Disneyland ephemeras. These are Valentine's Day. These came with my sunshine kit. These I got from AliExpress. And then these came with my Illustrated Faith. These are some other ice cream doilies. Martha Stewart. These are probably just like a few loose ones. There's a lot like that right here more pink so yeah so that's what this one holds back here are some of like um daiso stuff that i bought um but these hold my carpe diem tabs um these are these little flowers that i got i don't remember if i got them from daiso or if i got them from 99 cent store i think it's 99 cent store and then um these I got for somebody, can't say who, making an album for them. And then these are my large tags. This one's already ready to go. And then these are just like these Daiso buttons that I got. These little magnets that I sometimes clip onto my cart when I need little reminders. These sheets I got from, I think Michael's. It's just like random cards and then this one holds like any new um, embellishments that I cut for uh, faith heirlooms I keep them there and now the bottom part of the cart I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but as you can tell it's just more of the photo paper I mean the photo boxes let me just show you just like a little overall view um, they're all they're all also little okay like these are the ephemeras from this Echo Park paper collection I mean coffee collection and I kept the cover and I just glued it on here I just um, take it I mean on here see and then they're in here I did that because if I keep them in the little bag that it came in I tend to just I hate having to dig through the little bag so I did that for some like these are my printables from Illustrative Faith um, this is the sweater weather from Illustrative Faith um, these are just random Illustrative Faith ones um, these are all like Victorian style, except for that little carriage, but what's underneath it, um, and that unicorn, but, um, yeah, so these are all vintage Polaroids and like vintage, um, they're really tiny Polaroids. Um, these are my Faith Heirloom paper dolls and girls, so... Yeah, so that's what kind of give you an idea then what's in here. And yeah, and then the same with the the bottom cart. This this is more like seasonal. So I have right now I scooted my fall and summer ones to the front since that's what I was, you know, working on. And then this has like back to school stuff that I get from Target like the little washies and stuff like that and then pink cards so yeah so that's what this whole cart has let me back up yep so this is what this cart has 
a lot fits into this one. This one here is from Ikea. And now I'm going to move on to the third card. So now this one over here, this one used to be my cart where like the bottom two were the same. Let me back up to show you this one. So this one is my embellishments and paint cart. So I have all of my, this top right here is from those containers from Michaels. So right here, I just have random, this is like my cart junk drawer, I guess. Um, I always keep my gift cards, you know, to scrape and stuff. So I put my paints out because I used to have them in the box that, that this was in. And when I wanted to add just the tiniest amount of paint to my Bible journaling, even if it was like a paint splatter, I would see that my box was put away, tucked in like and stuff on top of it, and I would just be like, never mind, I think I could go without it. So I, I've now decided to keep them here right next to me. So if I ever want to add just a touch of color, it's right here. I just need to find my brushes. I haven't been able to find that. And then I have my most used glue here, my Mod Podge, my watercolors. Same, this, the watercolors were also put away, which is why I wouldn't use them. I have my color pencils and I have my watercolor pens right here too. Okay. And then on the side of the card, this, this is a bit of a mess. I don't really have a, I don't really have a, I don't know where the wheel stuck, but I don't have like a proper way of how the, the side of the card is. Um, like a, you know, like some type of organization for it. Like, it's just random. Like, like all my scissors, some of my Cricut stuff, um, little measuring stuff. I don't know. Just, it's random. Nothing special. Um, okay. So, let me pull this out now. The middle drawer right here has all of my anything, um, adhesive. So this is an extra roll for that sticker uh, Zyron that I have. And then my um, ATG. And then these are my extra glasses because sometimes I leave my room without them. I forget that I need my glasses. I got this big roll of foam tape from um, Amazon. So I have, I have most of my adhesives here because in the very bottom, I have my stuff for, um, what is it called? For shaker cards. So I try to keep that there. And then in here, I have more adhesive. And, um, and then in here, this one doesn't need to be in a separate box, but I had it in like the original, not the original box that it came in, but this like brown box. And I was like, I'm just gonna put them in here. So these are just like my newest things that I've gotten. So like, I just got this washi. Um, this is all of the um, Magic Forest and Heritage. These are just like newer things that I just got. I got them from Peachy Cheap. So I just put them there because they were in a, in a box, but eventually they'll have their own little spot. So that's what I hold in this middle part. And then the very bottom piece, this is all of my sequins. So this is all of my sequins in here. And uh, not all of it is in a bag. Let's see, I'm gonna pull this out. Not all of it is in a bag. See, they are put away right here. But this, these I keep in a, in a bag because they're so big. They don't fit on those. I'll only be able to fit a few like these. So I just keep them there. And then this one, like I haven't put in a container yet. Sorry if like my video is all sloppy. I'm still getting the hang of it. And then all of my washies are in here. I got rid of a lot of washies. I don't really do washi as much as I used to, but um, it's in there whenever I want it, need it. So 
yeah, that's what's on this cart. So that's basically my embellishment art, whatever you want to call it, cart. Okay, so this cart is kind of random. Makes sense, but it's not that organized. So this is my sewing cart. So I used to have my sewing machine up here and then this container was just floating anywhere. It would constantly get moved around. Um, and now I put my sewing machine above my desk. So it's over here. So whenever I want to use it, it's right there. And what I have is in this dusty container because everything's full of dust right now. I have all of my um, thread. I don't really sew much, so I don't, you know, have a lot of store. Like, I don't really have a lot of things to store. So I just put all my thread here and um, my needles and then my measuring tape. And then in here is just like random sewing stuff that I have in here. So that fits right here. My rulers are back there. And then this one holds my um like little projects that i've done and these are all of my rainbows are in here and more rope if i need more rope and my um it also holds my um my scraps my what is it called my yarn scraps as you can see right there and then this one i just recently got and i plan on putting all of my um uh, like small uh, tools in there and then my lint roller because I always have to remove the lint from any project that I'm working on and then down here hopefully that's low enough yeah okay so down here I have more rope for my rope rainbows and I have an extra roll back here um, this is the one that I used to hang to do the hanging tassel. Um, I got more of this um, heat and bond for some projects that I want to work on soon. Um, I hemmed my bell bottom pants and I kept the extra pieces here. I don't know, you never know what you can use it for. Um, there's my little um, mini iron from Cricut. And then in here, um, I just bought this fabric from Hobby Lobby and they're like fall and Christmas colors. So I have them in here and I just got like a quarter cause I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet, but it was so pretty, I had to get it. So this is what I got. And then these solids, I'm probably gonna use them for like bows that I can add to my journaling Bible and then down here in this container I have all the elastic for my face mask I haven't made any more but there was a time that I was making them like non-stop so I had this set up like I had all of my fabric down there pre-cut to the sizing for kids and adults um, this was the packaging I was using to put them in and yeah so not really making that at the moment just like for my family when they need it and yeah so that's it for these two and then the bottom so this is my most used fabric and then there's my heating mat I need to reorganize all of this because at one point it was perfectly organized not anymore it's not organized at all now it's just thrown in there um but yeah i need to organize all of that i do have more fabric i have a whole big tub of fabric but it's more of like specialty fabric it has like some type of spandex to it or glitter and um that's not what i needed at the moment so i might end up going through this and just leaving what i need now since i'm not making face masks anymore I might just take out all those prints that I had um, pulled out just for face mask and just swap them out for um, whatever I want to use now for fall and winter.
So that's what this whole part looks like. It's not the cutest, but it'll get there. And that is it for my cards. Um, I apologize if this video was long, but like I said, if you're like me, I don't mind a long video. I enjoy a long video while I'm working on stuff. Plus it gives me ideas. Hopefully, um, you know, I was able to share some new ways of using your cart. So let me slide them in here. And so that's that. Then there was this loud squeaky one. Then there was, um, well, this one was the first one. This one was the one that took forever this one and then my other one over here so I'm gonna organize them in the way that I use them in the room and um, and just kind of do like a little uh, scan through of it all right so let me show you this is how I have them in my room I have one right here the other one right here and the other one right here and then this one is right here since like I said most of the items here are the items that I use for my um, shaker cards I want to have that right here and then this one I have it right next to my desk because that one I plan on scooting right next to me when I need to use it over here and then this one too and this one for sewing Thanks for sticking around for this video. I really hope that um, this was helpful. Maybe you have a bunch of stuff and you don't know where to store it like I did. Um, you know, all of this used to be on shelves and on my desk. And I mean, it was just so overwhelming to have all of that scattered throughout the room. So putting them in carts was very helpful. Um, I can just pull these next to me when I work. Uh, and yeah, they're just... They also look pretty, you know, they look better than, you know, just having your stuff all over the place. And I prefer this method than having these, these things in drawers because I just, you know, I forget I have it or they get lost and um, I tend to not use it. So the only thing I have over my desk are just these items. I mean, that's going to be put away, but, you know, these items right here. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will be back with videos for, you know, the stuff that I've unboxed. I plan on using it pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.